Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're talking about the strafe run score streak added into Black Ops Cold War multiplayer today. I love it already, but the testing has proven crazy. It can destroy a lot more than just your enemies. For example, it will take down chopper gunners. Did you know that? This thing is crazy at 5,000 score. Here it is up against the rest of the score streaks in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. And at 5,000, you've got to weigh up. Should you get the chopper gunner? Should you get in there the harp? It's kind of one of those score streaks that is completely dominating any multiplayer game and will always turn the favor into yours. It will end so many people's score streaks, being the fact that it will shoot and target enemies in windows. It shoots around corners. It's got small explosive rounds, just like the chopper gunner. It's pretty crazy. So in today's video, I'm going to find out, is it worth the 5,000 score? Should you be running it? And what ways can you counter this score streak? This is a dedicated Call of Duty channel, so maybe drop a like if you enjoy this video. And of course, subscribe for more, because there's so much content coming with Season 3 around the corner. I'm running out of breath. My name's Gabba. Hmm. So the stray front was no surprise to those following leaks about Black Ops Cold War, because this was leaked very, very early, actually. All the score streaks that are coming. I will get to the three more that we're yet to see, but... The strafe run runs back and forward for a full 1 minute 15 seconds. It will target most enemies, but to be fair, it will just shoot anyway. It just shoots the center of the map. Here is the kind of kill radius. If you're in this, although it's very rough, I did it on, um, on a split screen on satellite. If you're in this area, there's a good chance you're going to be targeted with or without cold-blooded. You will be targeted even with cold-blooded on, which is quite annoying. But it acts kind of like the napalm. So you choose a location, and that area is pretty much no-go for the enemy for quite some time. Five strafes back and forward from two planes, targeting and shooting and spamming. Anyway, even if you're not there, you can be shot at. It does kind of shoot the same ammunition as a chopper gunner. So it will shoot the ground and explode next to you, and you'll still die, even if you're inside. Quite frustrating if you're on a streak, but does work wonders at clearing enemies. It means the B flag on domination is a no-go zone. It will certainly shoot indoors. It kind of works really well. Even on the smaller maps that are half indoors, it will shoot round corners, you see. So it comes in at such a steep angle. Those that think they're inside in cover are still actually targeted. Really, really powerful right now. So here's a bit of information about the strafe run. It's a pretty, pretty good streak, and it takes out quite a lot of extra things than you might expect. For example, it will take out your own trophy system. I mean, how harsh? Why is it doing that? But on the flip side, it does take out a lot of enemy equipment as well. Of course, their trophy systems and other equipment. If it's on the floor, it's going to die. It shoots enemy R6 decals. It will kill anybody wearing armor. It actually targets enemy UAV and enemy counter UAV. It will target enemy care packages coming in. It will take out enemy choppers and enemy chopper gunners as well. It will take out enemy chopper gunners. How crazy is that? On the flip side to that, it won't target enemy sentry guns. It will kill it if you're standing near it, and it's just a collateral damage, but it won't target it. It also won't target the VTOL, nor the gunship. It also won't target napalm, and nor will it target the air patrol, should that be kind of circling at the same time. Before I get into the leaked score streaks yet to come, there are three of those I want to tell you about. This is the current lineup. Now, 5,000 score is quite high. I mean, you're very close to getting a harp at that point. I don't see why you wouldn't just use harp instead. I'm sure you do as much damage. But if a full team are running the strafe run, that's crazy. An enemy can't call in a strafe run while this is live. If everyone on the team had a strafe run, there's no way you can lose domination. That's just the end of it. There's no way. It does take a 10 kill streak to earn. It's pretty high up there, actually. So not easy to get hold of. But a winning team already doing well, and then they call in one of these, it's pretty much going to be a landslide to them. No one else is getting score streaks in while this is up. I've tried shooting it down with Estrella. It, it does target, but I'm yet to hit it just once. It's They move so fast. But the Air Patrol, of course, does completely counter it. If you know a team's going to run it, of course, you need to sit on that. Because the strafe run is so overbearing for a minute 15 in a game of domination. That's a long time. And now lastly, on to the score streaks we are yet to see. These are leaked from an image that's pretty much exactly and has come true over the course of the last few months. This image was actually shared on Reddit and I obviously can't show you for copyright reasons. It was taken down by Treyarch, I believe, on Reddit, which is, it adds a lot of weight to what this image actually shows us. So on this score streak list is all the score streaks you know about so far with three additional ones. One being the flamethrower. We know that's real. We've seen publicity images of that flamethrower. Here it is on Raid. This came out to the public. 
We're still yet to see it. We thought we'd get it in season two. Next is a hand cannon, kind of midway through the score streak list there, right in the middle, a hand cannon with a one shot, one kill potential. Usually only a six bullets in previous CODs, but still really powerful. One shot, one kill through walls. It is crazy. I can't wait to see gameplay of that one. And lastly, this is probably the last score streak because everybody used to run it. It's the sniper's nest. It's the image of a helicopter from the side, which looks exactly like they saw in Black Ops 4. The sniper's nest was used by everybody. And of course, it being in the game towards the end is pretty fair because otherwise everybody would use it all the time because it was so good. So that is the video. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think of the Strife Run. My name's Gabba. I'm a Call of Duty content creator for Katana Gaming. Hit them up on Twitter at JoinKatana and of course visit their Discord as well. My name is Gabba. You take care. Maybe I'll see you in Season 3. Of course, subscribe for more. You take care.